We have to sell a hobbit into slavery to get baseball bats. In a hobbit. In a hobbit. Oh. Hi, Mr. Hobbit. You are now currency. Okay, I think that works. Looks like it, yeah. Dre Schwartz hands a baseball bat to the hobbit and orders, If you see any mutants, start swinging. Just pretend their heads are Fruit Loops. Dre then helps Zack search for survivors, hoping nothing bad happened while they were both in town getting bats. As you start looking through the debris for survivors, you see one of the mechanics emerge from the wreckage covered in blood. Oh, before you can truly start a journey, you have to get baseball bats and a hop it. Yes. Zack Frundel moves closer to the mechanic and asks, Are you okay? Are there others? The mechanic nods and begins wiping the blood off his face. Was that his blood? Or I don't know. <laughs> you notice we didn't even get food when we came back? He just yeah. gave us a baseball bat. And a hop it. Dre Schwartz searches the oil rig for survivors and eventually finds a bunch of people screaming for help behind a locked door. A blood-covered mutant is fiercely clawing at the door, yet the mutant seems too stupid to open the door. With a grin, Jerry swings his bat at the mutant's head, fiercely screaming, Time to bust some Fruit Loops! That was all what I wrote. What, the, the next part is what the computer wrote. Yeah. Zack arrives with the hobbit and watches in awe as Jerry takes charge of the situation. Hey, we're the Goonies! Get away! What the fuck? <laughs> what wait, uh, the... wait, wait, um, I, we're, our group is the Goonies? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, may, maybe I guess, Wild, if you and I were in the wasteland, we might call ourselves that? Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> I think the game... Oh my god, no! No, 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 the game's getting in on it! Zack Frundel picks up the hoppet and throws him at the mutant with such velocity that he goes to the mutant's chest. Psst. Hurry up! Open the door! You see, I told you I could do it! <laughs> open the damn door, you stupid Fruit Loop! Oh my... I hope that catches on. I want people to call people Fruit Loops. Oh, that's, that, that's quite a bit. Dre Schwartz watches as the hoppet unlocks the door for Zack. The door opens, and a wall of noise hits your ears. There are dozens of people screaming, crying, and yelling their heads off. A horrible stench of vomit, blood, and body odors fill the air. Ugh. That doesn't... that does not seem good. Zack Frundel looks to the hoppet and says, Okay, you need to take all these stinky people to a bath. We are not dealing with that. The hoppet nods and begins taking the hostages out of the rig. Hey, wait, you shout, running after them. Okay. We, we have a servant. Okay, this is cool. Well, he's our servant now. <laughs> we, we, we bought him. Fair and square. Maybe, 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 this is why we, maybe this is why we wanted him over the hobbit. Yes. Dre Schwartz checks to make sure the attacking mutants didn't steal any of their precious oil. Because, without oil, it would be hard to trade for more bats. Meanwhile... Zack and Hoppet take the survivors to all get some badly needed showers. You arrive just in time to see the Hoppet flitting from host to host, giving out baths and generally making sure everyone is okay. That's a good Hoppet! I like our Hoppet! Uh, but I'm starting to think that the Hoppet's a little pervy. Because he didn't just like Give them a bath. Like, I, I think he took what I said completely serious. He's, like, watching them. Yes. Well, now we know why he's so eager to follow orders. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Frundel starts to carve a name into his baseball bat. Fruit Loop Destroyer. And shouts to the Hobbit. I said to get them to a bath, not to bathe them. Stop being a perv. Hobbit looks at the bat and frowns, walking over to you. You're not serious. Serious has a heart attack. <laughs> Jerry Schwaltz proclaims, Whoa, whoa, we're not hurting Hoppet. It's cool. I mean, it's slightly creepy, but it's cool. It's really hard to clean up this much blood and gore. Hoppet's just helping. Hoppet looks at the floor. Ah, uh, okay, sure, you shrug. The bed is quickly forgotten as Hoppet takes charge, calling out, A group, follow me. He's obviously split them up into groups. 
Zach Prundle beams at the Hoppet proudly, but still worried he's being a perv, then turns to Jerry. We should check out the hole they were hiding in, and maybe find some food if we can? You're right, there might be some stuff to find. Come on. As Jerry hands over the last of the supplies he gathered, the three of you head off in search of your cave. Jerry Schwartz travels with Hoppet and Zach into that cave their oil rig was drilling into. They were originally just looking for precious oil deposits, but instead they found a colony of mutants. If all those mutants were previously living down there, they must also have been eating somehow. Zack was right. There must be food. And possibly other supplies down there. After yes. traveling down a bit, the cave turned from the usual dirt tunnel into a more established living space. Beds sit undisturbed. A table is, e a table is even present, covered with carefully placed guns and ammo. Huh. Well, they got quite well. These moons got kind of quite a setup. Zach Frundel begins to start gathering the guns and ammo and gives them all to hop in. Here, hold these. While also looking around for anything else they can loot and plunder. After some time, Hoppet has everything packed up and looks at you with a frown on his face. I guess I should say thank you, but you're welcome. Jay Schwartz offers to carry half the guns, lightening, the, lightening up the Hoppet's load considerably. Hey, Zach, you can't just make Hoppet carry everything, you know? I thought of that. He needs to help carrying something. That'll be fives of the guns and the rest of food. Oh, well, okay. It, this seems pretty rough. I mean, we agreed to share. Huh. I, I, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but... I can see where the game's like, uh. Zach Frundo looks at Hoppet. Why don't you head up and drop off all the supplies you have there? Meet us back down here when you are done. He turns to Jerry. Let's continue our search down here. Maybe we'll find some more baseball bats. Don't take too long, you call as Hoppet frowns, looks at his feet and rushes off. I think my character just doesn't like Hoppet. I think Hoppet's a good guy. Rich Watts looks around. There has to be more mutants down here still. The colony looks to be massive. There weren't that many mutants attacking the oil ring, so there must be more. Be careful. Jerry then makes sure to start loading his favorite shotgun. As you and Jerry head deeper into the mine, you find signs of battle everywhere. Bodies of your dead lie strewn about. Blood stains the earth and littered with limbs and organs. Oh, that's great. Oh, well, now we know where the fight was we missed. Yeah. Zach Frundel looks around the area for more food and water. Or anything else that could be possibly be helpful. While listening for any signs of anything, still being down here with them. You find a small canteen and quickly drink some of the water. Finding that it's fresh and not the least bit stale. That is not the best way to test that. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know why we're just like, oh, water, glug, glug, glug. Clearly we're in a video game, man. Uh -huh. You and I are like in some weird Asian MMO about the apocalypse. Um, I could see that. And this is our story in the game. Yes. Trish Watts slides the action on his shotgun, readying around. And as he hears rumbling up ahead, Dude, don't just drink random water without testing it first. That's nasty. Also, I think we have company up ahead. Get ready. Zach pulls out a few Cheez-Its. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> Zach pulls out a few Cheez-Its and starts munching on them as he waits for, both, for you both to get ready. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, okay, there's a little cheese it ad for you there. Jeez Louise, okay. I don't even think it's spelled. No, it's spelled right. Whatever. It's spelled right. Okay. It's freaking amazing and not the least bit stale. <laughs> Let the mutants come. I'll bash heads in with my Fruit Loop Destroyer. You all twitch as you hear the noise. A long, low rumbling. Whatever it is. It's getting closer. Well, this would be a lot easier if a gun, Jerry remarks. <laughs> Clearly he's talking about you because he's got a gun. Yes. 
Trish Watts aims his shotgun down the tunnel at the oncoming ominous den. Ready to fire just as soon as something appears. The tunnel seems to suddenly widen out, or at least it seems like it should. You look down the cavern and don't immediately see anything, but you can hear the noise getting closer. More, more tension. Oh, I like it. Zach Frumdahl holds his baseball bat high. I don't need a gun when I got this beauty. I'm gonna break it over another fool's head. <laughs> the path ahead opens up in a huge cavern with several large silver tubes stretched out in rows. You don't know what they could be. But they look like they could hold all the answers to all your problems. Is this the Matrix? 